John, the real star of the spring ball maybe has to be your indoor facility in terms of giving you the flexibility to move inside if the weather dictates or, or to have the spring game there like you did on Saturday. Yeah, Jeff, we, uh, the real star, the difference maker, whatever you want to call it, we, we literally scheduled our practices in the morning, had our guys schedule classes around uh, really 6 to 10, uh, obviously we only get two hours to practice, but, you know, with meetings and taping and stuff and, and, uh, you know, the weather, we never practiced once outside We didn't paint the fields, uh, played the spring game, like you said, indoors and really had the best spring in terms of conditions and teaching and reps that we've ever had here. Yeah. You just focus on football. Well, yeah. And, and your, your day is spent focused on that or other things that move your head. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a picture. You know, last year we can't start when we're supposed to start. So eventually we start. We get uh, two inches of snow. It's still snowing. (laughs) We're supposed to have practice. Everybody in our program is looking at their phones at at 1 o'clock to see if we're going to be practicing at 3. We have got people running all over the place to try to find a place to practice. We're dividing it. It, uh, it, There's so many impactful things of the the S-Jack. It's uh, mind-boggling. And in the meantime, you see the transition of Coughlin alumni going out right outside your office. What's that been like? Well, I'm just standing here looking out the window, and it, uh, you know, I use the term unbelievable. <laughs> uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, I, you should really uh, quantify that. I mean, who, how many people thought this would be happening, you know, 11 years ago when we went to Division One, you know, uh, uh, six years ago or, or five years ago when we moved into the Dykehouse Student Athlete Center? Uh, just the leadership here, Jeff. The 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 belief in in uh, our our student athletes and our in our programs by by the people that pay the bills. Uh, it is such a treat, and that that stadium is going to change the way some people think in the state of South Dakota because it is going to be a special facility. Let's talk about your team, um, Zach Lujan, limited in terms of his spring participation, opening it up for guys like Little and Douglas and. And Finnis, uh, let's start with the quarterback spot. What did you see from your guys over the spring over the quarterback position? Interesting uh, situation. I think all three of the guys that got the majority of the reps had their good days and had their bad days. Uh, are they ready to lead us at Kansas? Uh, I would say uh, no, um, but they've got a whole summer. You know, they still haven't. None of those guys have had, or other than Finney, had 15 reps during his last season. None of those guys have had any game reps, and that's where you really mature. And so, but interesting deal: Zach Lujan, who was injured, surgery, all that stuff, was voted a captain by our team. Hmm. And so, his leadership, his confidence. Uh, so we've had a good situation. We got we got uh, four guys on the team. Taron Christian's coming in, and then we've got high expectations for him. So I expect we'll have more than one ready uh, come September fifth. Everybody wants to talk about what you've lost offensively, and, and we could spend time on that, but we're not going to because you got to move forward and you got to play with the guys you've got. So at running back, some familiar faces, Reggie Gandy, uh, Brady Mangarelli, will it be running back by committee, or do you, do you want to go back to a traditional, this is the guy we give the ball to the majority of the time? Well, there, there, there won't be, and I know you said we're going to talk about it, but there won't be a, a, a back like Zach Zenner mm-hmm. that is that durable. So... If you want to call it committee or you want to call it, uh, you know, uh, Brady Mingarelli has these strengths, Kyle Paris has these strengths, Reggie Gandy, Isaac Wallace, and, the, you know, and then, and then you know, for if it, you know, what does the NFL say? This is a third down back, you know, mm-hmm. he can block, but if he's not blocking, he is a wide receiver type of guy. You know, we have guys like that. We have the guy that can put his pads down like uh, Kyle Paris and get the tough yards. Uh, bring it, Brady is a little, kind of tough, but a, more of a dancer. And so we have different personalities. I would expect we, you know, when we talk next fall, we'll be playing three running backs. Wide receiver wise, again, some some key contributors back, some familiar names back: Winicky, Wesley, Cam Jones at tight end. Uh, where would you rank the receiving core at this point? I think the tight end core is as good as we've had here. Hmm. I mean, we, Steve Hyden was an NFL player for ten years, but in terms of depth, with uh, Cam Jones is is finally healthy. Dallas Goddard had a had a really special year last year as a uh, you know a newcomer essentially. Uh, Mitch Vavoda is one of the hardest working guys on our football team, and then Zach Zanello, another guy. We got Sam Seckman coming in. We, we've got some good players there. Wide receiver, we got to find that uh, guy to replace Schneider on the edge. Wesley had a great spring. Winicky is Winicky. He's, he's as good a guy player we've had here. 
but we've got to find the guy. We need Connor Landberg. We need Brandon Andrews because you got to have that if you have a great player. You've got to have a guy that that makes the safety in the middle of the field or the half player know that he's going to catch some balls also. And, of course, one of the most important units, the guys up front. You had a mixture there of some veteran guys and some young guys step up last year. What's the state of the offensive line at this point? Well, we've got some work to do. It's like it's like quarterback, not 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 as much uh, experience as you'd like. Uh, Bryce Cyberling's played a lot of football at tackle. Uh, Dylan Sider at guard on the left side, and Jacob Bonasorgi, our our young uh, center, was also voted a captain as a red shirt offensive lineman. So that tells you something about that young man. Uh, on the right side, we lost Nick Carr for the season, a guy that should have should have started was going to start. At right tackle, we graduated a guy there that had every rep in Trevor Gregor. So our right tackle position is wide open. Seth Landsman filled the the role, uh, but again, that was his most reps he ever had in practice, let alone game uh, time experience. Um, you know, at right guard, Taylor Bloom did a great job, but he got injured in the spring game. So uh, our right side needs to do some work. Our young guys, Jeff, our young guys have to have a great spring. Mm-hmm. Excuse me, a great summer both strength-wise and maturity-wise, and come back and, and be ready to play against Kansas. Defensively, up front, you've got Cole Longer, Cole Longer back and also uh, Gottlob back as well. Um, some question marks up front defensively for you as well, though, John? Uh, not inside. You know, you, you, Gottlob is back. Uh, Cole had a phenomenal spring. Cole Langer, uh, uh, I really think Kellen Sulik uh, maybe had the best spring. You know, a young man from Freeman played at Yankton. Uh, you know, so when we got a young guy in uh, 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 Taiwan Ramsey who didn't get to take a rep, shoulder injury, but he's very skilled. So internally, the, the defensive tackle position, I think we're pretty good. Defensive end, J.R. Plody is poised to have a great year at, at, at uh, end. And then the other end is wide open. Landon Schultz, a junior college guy. Chase Kern, a guy we pulled the red shirt on. We've got some players there. Uh, you know, uh, uh, last year we didn't, we hardly had any sacks. I think we had 15 sacks for the whole season. So we've got to get defensive ends scaring those tackles and making plays. We gave up uh, almost three times as many sacks as we had. So that, hmm. that's a scary stat. And that was one of our uh, things we focused on in the spring. Obviously, when you have a guy like TJ Lally, at linebacker, uh, the linebacking court at least has that, that veteran guy, that, that guy who is the guy that everybody looks up to. What about what you've got surrounding TJ in the linebacking court? I feel good at linebacker. We didn't graduate anybody. Uh, we did have three guys that, again, didn't take a rep. Patrick Schuster, uh, Jesse Bobbitt, a starter, and, and uh, uh, Tom Pites, a backup Mike linebacker. So TJ not only is a great leader and, and a playmaker, he got plenty of reps this spring, too, and he really didn't need them because we were, we were down three guys. Uh, but I feel good. I feel good. Uh, you know, J.T. Hassel, the guy we pulled the red shirt on at Sam, uh, uh, unbelievable skill. And he's only going to get better. Uh, Dallas Brown, Drew Kreitzfeld, we're, we're solid at Sam. We're solid across the board. Cody Hayes led a transfer from Northern Illinois. Great, great spring. I think our linebacker core, when they're healthy, is going to be one of the solid parts of our football team next fall. Defensive backs, uh, get Butler and Mears and those guys back there. So you've got some familiar faces back there. Uh, what do you see from the defensive backfield? You know, our corner situation is in really good shape. Duran Butler, Jimmy Forsythe, Trey Carr. Uh, you know, another another young man we pulled red shirt on. Very very good players. Um, uh, we've got a guy uh, Tyler Lindsay who had a great start in fall camp. Hasn't had a rep since and didn't have a rep in spring ball. Had some injury problems. I think I think the world of him. Uh, so I think we're going to be good at corner. Mears Mears is a good football player. We need to find that that uh, second safety. We need to find uh, the guy that can make the play. And if if it's Nick Farina. Uh, so be it. If it's a couple of those young guys we have on the football team or Mark Pickerel is going into a senior year, we need to have that guy because our safeties, our linebackers maybe line us up, but our safeties make the checks when people when the bullets start flying. They, we need to have some good season players back there. A guy you relied a lot on the last several years is not there anymore, Justin Siravatka handling the place-kicking duties. Seven field goals in the spring game and from a bunch of different guys, so obviously there's a lot of guys auditioning for that spot. Yeah, we've got... Uh, We've got two freshmen coming in, uh, Vinatieri and Hale. Uh, Vinatieri from uh, Sioux Falls, Hale from Yankton. So those are those are really good kickers. Uh, and then and then uh, uh, Jay Carlson's going to be a senior. He's done a good job in our program. And then we had two young guys, Sam Kube, another guy from Sioux Falls, and Andrew Kirschman from Elton. They really have good springs. The problem is, it's kind of like quarterback. 
you, you, you know, you just can't play everybody. And so those guys are battling for uh, a spot on the, on the team, literally, when school starts. But I'm, I'm, I, I think we're going to be young, but we're going to put pressure on those guys. We're going to find out who has the, the thickest skin and the greatest focus, and we'll be ready to go at special teams, especially at the kicking game. John, you mentioned Taron Christian. What other freshman players do you see that will start school in the fall that maybe could have an impact on this team right away as first-year players? Well, the kickers, the, the, the two kickers, yeah. uh, Brady Hale and Chase Minatieri, uh, Shirley. Uh, yeah, I, I, you know, the physical positions, the – uh, you know, the, the defensive line, offensive line, I just don't think that's even uh, fathomable at the level we play that a young, young man would be ready. But that is where we've signed this last year some of our really, really good players. And Matt Clark uh, from Syracuse, Nebraska, and Ryan Arith from Papillion, Nebraska. So, so who knows? Yeah, I tell you this. Those guys have been told that you better be ready because we're going to compete for two and a half weeks. And uh, Lorenzo Williams, a young man from Woolsey, uh, Huron area, uh, I think ability-wise uh, can play safety for us. Now, can he can he handle all the bullets flying? I don't know. So, Sam, say, Sam Zenner, we've talked about him. Sam's having a Sam ran a, a sub 10 700 meters uh, uh, this last week in track. So uh, we've got a great class coming in. I hope we don't pull the red shirts, but surely some guys will play. John, a half glass empty person would say, "Boy, look at what you lost, especially at those skill positions on the offensive end, and and the most successful uh, teams you've ever had up there." And these guys are now gone. Some of the key leaders from those teams, glass half full person would say, "Okay, but these guys have instilled now a new attitude and and shown an example now to the guys coming up of how it should be done." Where do you fall on that side of the argument? Well, there's a, it's a good point. Uh, we 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 could we could we could waste time talking about who we who we lost. And in the few times I've done that, I've said something about Zenner, you know, Jack Zenner, and they said, well, you said the same thing when Josh Ronick was here, <laughs> you know, and uh, and then you follow that up with Manette and Koenig and, and uh, Anthony Watson and on and on and on, great players, and then you get one of the best, most decorated in Zach. So, uh, you, you, you know, our guys believe, and in, in getting to your question, our guys believe they're a good football team. They believe in the program. And uh, we voted for our leaders. They're going to lead us through the summer. And so uh, I think we just need to keep doing it the jackrabbit way, keep working our tail off, believing in the system, and uh, and then coming to fall camp healthy. And uh, I, d- I do think we'll be able to have a good year. I don't know if you reload it at our level, uh, but I do know our guys believe and they work tremendously hard. 